two scoops. Ah! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are here in my bathroom again because I wanted to film part two of my mix-in mask from Nectar Bath Treats. watch the first part of this video I tried these mix-in masks for the first time and I talk a little bit more about the background and the ingredient list that I have as far as how these mix-ins work if you remember from the previous video um, I do have like the gel mask and I got to select six different ingredients that's gonna fit my skin tone as well as skin needs and last week I think I tried the turmeric the cranberry seeds and the banana powder so today I am in need of some hydration we're gonna try the other ingredients I think I'm gonna use the strawberry powder it's this one right here I chose this because it has a lot of antioxidants and it's actually a natural salicylic acid which I do have like one breakout right here like it's a tiny one that's about to go away so I think this will be good my face feels like it's about to crack because I just cleanse my face and that's it there's no moisturizer nothing else on my skin usually the toner restores my pH balance and doesn't make it feel so cracked and dry but the peppermint is actually very good at balancing the skin's pH levels. It's going to help soothe the skin while reducing redness and it removes excess oils as well as blackheads from the skin. So yes, I do need this so, one. First thing that we're going to do, I have my bowl right here. I'm going to put two scoops of this gel base, kind of like that. So I'm going to do two of those. I love this gel base by the way it's full of aloe and it also has witch hazel so it's like the perfect perfect combination for oily skin or combination skin and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the strawberry powder the strawberry powder looks really kind of um, like a damp consistency so it's not powdery it's not loose powder and then next is the peppermint we're gonna do a tiny scoop of that and I'm gonna mix them in and depending on the consistency of the mask we'll see if it needs more or not ooh okay this is not gonna be a nice looking mask I kind of knew because of the green um, powder from the peppermint but I think it's gonna be a very soothing mask trying to break down the strawberry powder because it's very lumpy clumpy and they said to mix it in for about a minute to really mix in those ingredients into the base I'm gonna put this around my face we are ready to apply the mask okay Oh, I can definitely smell the peppermint. Love that smell. My chin is like the most problematic area that I have. So I'm putting it all in there. Hopefully that's some good. I'm gonna leave this on for about 10 minutes and then show you the results afterwards. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. My face has hardened a little bit, um, but nothing like the clay mask. This one is ready to be washed off, so give me a second. Okay. So, it was... Um, very gel-like in consistency when I tried to wash it off like it was tough to kind of remove right away But then after a couple of washes it came off nicely. I definitely feel like my face is a lot more cleansed I don't feel like it's super dry like how my face was earlier on before the mask Although I still feel like I need to bring back hydration and then all of my skincare stuff I feel like my face is a little bit smoother it's not as like soft though as the first mask that I made last time. Um, this one feels more 
like cleansed, like refreshed and clean. Hopefully it does something for that little zit that I have, but that's actually about to go away. But if it comes back, then we know whose fault it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun creating my own mask. I can think of so many other combinations here that I could put together with these six ingredients. So I'm really excited about that. Um, this is one of the masks that I feel like I could keep going back to because every combination that I make is a different thing. I feel like my gel base is starting to be halfway full and I still have a lot of ingredients and powders left. So I'm curious what I'm going to do with those once the gel is emptied out. I can't wait to try the um, matcha. Matcha green tea is a very popular ingredient. So I can't wait to try that matcha powder. I wonder if I could put it in, in my tea too. <laughs> I definitely love the feeling of my skin from my first mask compared to this one. I don't know. But this one feels clean like my face looks a lot brighter i like that combination that i made it's nothing bad so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are interested in nectar bath treats i have a referral link down below in the description if you are interested that gets you 20 percent off your first order with nectar bath treats if you enjoyed this video and learned something please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews and some unboxings here and there so definitely come back to my channel there's always something to learn here and with that said i hope to see you guys back in my corner soon bye <laughs>